hear ye. All artists tend to have their little tricks to avoid the things that they don't like to draw. For example, ears. You might hide the ears behind hair. You might put headphones on or hats or scarves or anything to avoid drawing ears. Do you have a different trick to avoid drawing ears? If you do, I wanna know what it is in the comments. Like, let me know what it is that you do to avoid drawing ears. I am here to tell you today that we all do this. Maybe it's not ears for you, maybe it's feet, maybe it's hands, maybe it's noses. We all find ways to avoid what we don't like to draw. And usually if we don't like to draw it, it's probably because we aren't super comfortable with it or like we don't like the aesthetics or the look of it. And usually if we don't like the aesthetics or the look of it, it's because we haven't found a way to tell it on our own story. Like it's, it's still kind of alien to us. So you guessed it, today is all about ears. I know they seem scary sometimes because they they can kind of look like someone just cut a conch shell in half and like attached it to the inside of your ear and it's like a little radar satellite and okay maybe that's exaggerating a bit but point is it can look kind of weird it doesn't look pretty and natural plus because there's so many like intricate shapes within the ear it can easily fall into the trap of this has too much going on, it's not fitting in with my style, it doesn't look good, it's not cohesive with the entire piece. So many things to think about! Okay, so just be aware, it is a thing. It's not just you, it's everybody. But ears are not difficult and they are not anything to be scared of. And I'm gonna tell you why. There's just four shapes. Four! Four things! So I'm gonna break it down for you, I'm gonna break down ears for you. First, you have the head, no ears on this head yet, but we have marked where it will go. And where it will go is always going to line up with these two lines here. If you want an easy explanation of that, I actually have another video that I'm talk about like where things line up on the head. I will leave a link for that in the description below or up here in the corner. So the first thing is the C. The majority of this C shape comes from the upper part of the ear. This is the helix. Now you don't need to know the names, but it can help if you ever get stuck. This is the lobe. This is like the bottom part of the ear, shaped a little bit kind of like a bean. Think of it as this is where earrings will stereotypically go. So let's do the interior bit. This is the part that is tricky and looks like the insides of a seashell. But if we make it a little lowercase g, or even better, a lowercase y, just inside the C here, and connect it down to the lobe here, that is all we need. This is called the antihelix. We just have to think to ourselves that this interior part is marked with hills and valleys, so it gives the ear its depth. So we need to show that, hey, there's this little thing here. It actually connects with the lobe at the bottom and at the top, it folds under the arch of the helix. My ears, I have a connected earlobe, so I don't have like the dangly earlobe. Mine just goes straight into my, my skin here. So lobes are different. The helix, the start of the helix can be different, everything can be different. Even the hills and valleys, that anti-helix inside the ear, it can look different. So don't think that it has to be exactly the same each time. It's okay to have different characters with different ear shapes. The main thing to remember is that we all kind of like follow a pattern. Details can vary, but the general shape kind of retains the same idea. And there we have it. That is an ear. The top is the helix, remember? That is the big C. We then draw in the lobe as that is the bottom of the ear. Next, we connect the two with a lowercase y. Now, if we rotate the head a bit and look at it from a top-down view, we have a better idea of this ear as being a wedge. So think of it like a, a slice of cheese, okay? <laughs> in fact, it pokes out a fair bit and sits at a shallow angle. Think of this the next time you are drawing the ear from behind. So remember what I said just now, let us look at the back of the ear. The back of the ear is sometimes tricky to do, so just force yourself to draw it. By drawing it enough, you will get that muscle memory, that visual memory. It all goes up in that little mental library you got in your head, and it is gonna be so useful. It's like a, it's like a fallback plan. And then you just draw a little wing that almost resembles a wavy line, and that will be like the helix from the back. There are four major angles you should learn to draw an ear from. Once you master these, or at least can reference them in your visual library, you will find that ears do not pose a challenge for you anymore because you've mastered the four main angles. And the four main angles are front, back, side, and three-quarter. And here's an important tip. If the ear looks off, 
consider that unless an ear is in profile view or there's like, you know, big poofy hair or something, we almost always see it poke away from the flow of the head. Looking straight ahead or looking a bit to the side, the ear pokes out from the silhouette of the head, so of the skull. Like if the hair is in the way, you're not gonna see it. But if you have someone with a shaved head or something, you're gonna, you're gonna see it. Like if I flatten my hair, pay attention to my ear, you see how it kind of, it, it doesn't go into my head, it like sticks out. Ooh, angles. Depending on how stylized you make your art, you can even take some shortcuts. These are all stylized ears. Notice how they look very different, but they still work as ears. Now the reason that they're still gonna work as ears is because we're going to put them where ears belong and our brain will make that minute connection, hey, those look like little knobs, but those knobs look like ears, don't they? If you struggle with ears, but you found this even a little bit helpful, I want to know because I want to know if this is helping people. Share it on your socials if you want to help me. I don't know. I think I did a decent job simplifying ears. They're not that hard, really. It's just, it's, it's a little bit intimidating because they look weird. Kind of like hands. Hands are intimidating because they can look weird. Please make sure to hit that little notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. And thank you again so much for watching. I will catch you next time.